Hello everyone and welcome back to the Belgian Beer Brothers channel. Cedric here in Antwerp and it's time for another beer, don't you guys think? <laughs> well, I sure do. Uh, so today I'm going for a Marzen style of beer by brewery Turia in Valencia, Spain. Now I'm not going into detail what Marzen is, I will talk about that later on in another video. But I will tell you about this beer. I first encountered this beer when I traveled to Calpe in Spain to climb the Ifag, a small mountain in the sea. And after a hike I sat down in a bar not far from our apartment called Bora Bora. Turns out that the bar was owned by an old Belgian who moved to Calpe full time and he recommended Turia to me. So yeah, of course I had to try this beer and I've only had this beer once or twice and it's been over a year. So a critical tasting is well overdue. Now, as the name implies, Turia is a 5.4% ABV Marzen style beer. Because as in many uh, Spanish brewery stories, the founders of the brewery were huge fans of the German Pilsner beers or the Marzen style. They recreated it, but with a Spanish twist. And by now you might have guessed it, uh, they used some toasted malts or maltas tostadas in it. The Turia Marzen is in fact the only beer from the Turia brewery that survived uh, since its foundation in 1935. And it has been off the market not once but a few times. And the last time quite recently until Dam bought the company and relaunched the Marzen in 2013 with a huge marketing campaign and keeping the original logo. More on that in the Turia Brewery breakdown, somewhere in the foreseeable future. Now, these days you can find Turia in many a bar in Spain and ever so often we can get our hands on, uh, on one of those here as well, uh, especially when friends bring them over from their holidays. Now, Again, uh, as usual, I do love this graphic design. It is very simple. It is very black and white, mainly white, with a lot of detail. Uh, they have some red and gold details, the gold being the logo, the, the Torres, but we will talk about that in a later video. And in very, very subtle red, it has the Tostada stamp over this, but for the rest it says Turia Marzen Cerveza Tostada Valencia 1935. So Marzen beer from Turia, uh, Tostada beer and founded in Valencia in 1935. Reflejos rojizos recuerdos a cereal tostada y notas cítricas. Fresca e ideal para acompañar nuestra gastronómica. So basically, um, yeah, brewed with toasted malts and uh, has notes of citrus and ideal to accompany the gastronomy of Spain or Valencia, uh, that region in particular. Now, if it has toasted malts and notes of citrus, uh, yeah, I would pair this with fish, but First of all, let's find out for ourselves. By the way, on that bar, the, the Bora Bora in Calpe, um, imagine my surprise when I found out that the owner was not just an old Belgian who moved over there, but also an old friend of my father. Uh, so I did visit the bar more than once and played a lot of pool there. <laughs> of course, accompanied by, let's say, some beers. Okay, not entirely the color I expected. Uh, I expected this to be very much uh, more pale, but it does have a lovely, um, yeah, orangey caramel color. The foam isn't white at all. Um, for some reason, uh, my memory fails me, I actually, uh, remember this beer as being a light pale pilsner, a pale ale, um, or actually a lager. But nonetheless, um, this doesn't have white foam, it has beige foam, very outspoken, 
a lot of carbon dioxide in there, very carbonated. Um, but like I said, lovely color, very lovely surprise. Uh, it's fascinating how our memory sometimes fails us. When it comes to smell, uh, I do get the toasted malts, of course. Um, very malty and it smells a bit dark. I don't know if that's logical to all of you. Yeah, um, it smells a bit like toast, like krakat, uh, if you know that. Uh, a bit stale, but I don't mean that in a bad way. This is actually more pleasant than it sounds. Uh, yeah, very grainy. Now, I do seem to remember that this is only brewed with barley. Yeah, cerveza especial contiene malta de cebada. So it is a barley-based beer. But based on the smell, I would actually say that there are more grains in this beer, which is quite fascinating. And just by that discovery, I am already um, yeah, happy that I'm trying this again. Uh, now, this is, um, by the way, why tasting notes are important sometimes and I must admit to my shame that I keep not enough tasting notes um, not even in untapped and I actually have uh, complete books to keep tasting notes and I should use them more often I think that some of those books only have like five pages filled out in them um, it's a habit that I have developed in school and, and at work but actually in private I never kept that habit going but actually I should um, and I actually encourage each and every one of you to keep tasting notes uh, I often wrote tasting notes on a coaster or a beer mat uh, by a lack of, of my book and, and my yeah, papers but see this as a incentive for myself to keep them again but nonetheless we have a beer here that is uh, yeah, craving for a tasting and honestly, so am I. So, cheers. All right. Um, right upon the initial tasting, I see where I've gone wrong and why I remember this beer differently. Uh, you might guess it. I remembered a different beer. Um, I remembered a nice pale Pilsner beer and this isn't. Um, I had a few beers at that bar and I don't mean many beers, I mean some different styles of beer and apparently I remembered the wrong one. Nonetheless, this is a rediscovery for me. Um, I must say that this beer despite being relatively sweet and not so bitter. Um, this reminds me a lot of not, not only a Marzen style, um, which it is, but also a special bells like a Bolleke de Koning, uh, for example, or a Viven special bells, we, we have different brands. But this does remind me more of that. Uh, again, it is, I'd say bittersweet, but Maybe this is more sweet bitter. Um, we tend to put the dominant flavor first. Think about sweet and sour sauce uh, from a Chinese restaurant. So this is quite malty, this is quite sweet. I do get that caramel taste. Uh, I, funnily enough, do get those citrusy notes, which I didn't expect seeing this color and, and in the initial taste, but now they are shining true. Yeah. Quite sweet. Actually sweeter than I like. Um, but nonetheless, a nice beer. And despite having so many bubbles in the glass, so many visible bubbles, um, not necessarily highly carbonated, 
but we might have talked about this before having a lot of bubbles uh, can be a sign of impurities in the beer or in the glass like 90% of the time in the glass but here it looks completely normal and yeah it, it comes in not flat but just less carbonated than it looks now as i said um this is not a bad beer at all this is not what i expected but don't worry um that's just my expectations that says nothing about the beer this is a decent beer um like i said these days brewed by them from Estrella them or Galicia but yeah we've had this several times um, and often with with French and Spanish beers um, it's a nicely brewed beer it is a lovely beer it is a nice looking beer but too sweet to my taste so as for the scoring i would call this a even three not more than that uh, maybe a 275 yeah just because it's not to my liking so i'm not gonna fail this beer absolutely not it is a nice beer uh, and i love the design i love the story around it uh, but yeah a bit too sweet not thirst quenching not bitter not dry um, not my flavor again de goût de couleur on discute pas but beer tasting is subjective and yeah i do have to put in my own taste a bit anywho as usual if you guys like this video if i got you curious for this beer um, leave a comment down below uh, same thing goes for if you have any questions remarks or if you want to share your own experience with this beer uh, or with Calpe in general because I am returning there um, if you want to see more yeah subscribe hit the bell icon you'll get notified whenever I upload something which should be Monday Wednesday and Friday at 6 p.m. local time and if you want to support this channel uh, I don't have patreon and all those things uh, just share one of my videos and yeah spread the love that all being said um, yeah I'll see you guys in the next video cheers